All right, in this video, we have a battle of the heavyweights. Two experts going head to head. In this corner, my corner, you have me. In the other corner, you have Antonio Radich, also known as, as he goes by in his YouTube videos, Agnometer. I don't know how to pronounce his name. You don't know how to pronounce his name. Let's just get real about it and let's get on with the game. Okay, so E4. B6. Interesting. Interesting. And another thing that's, uh, that's uh, also we have in common, we're both the same rating, have the same mole on the same side of our face, and had the same dog at one time. Maybe I'm him. No. Okay, so right now, uh, Miss, you know, he's, he's playing a little offbeat he's playing a little flexible he's kind of like doing a little dance he's not really meeting me in the center there's no tension yet in the position it's interesting we kind of have okay so he's i'm going to expand take over some more space in the center of the board he's coming here attacking that pawn but um i really don't care about it i'm just going to castle he can take it if he wants i'm more concerned about development he's hitting the queen yeah i see that no problem I'll just move my queen away, sidestep and attack, defend this one of the escape squares. Um, okay, and now I might just come here with my bishop, or I might let him castle into this devastating uh, Greek gift sacrifice. But I mean, he's a strong player. I doubt he'll he'll miss that. You know, in fact, if I go here right away, he could do this and get my bishop. So I'm gonna come here first. Then maybe I'll I'll see what he's what he's gonna do. Okay, he's coming back here to e7. All right, I'm gonna protect my knight. Don't want to get double pawns in front of my king. And he stops the Greek gift way before I'm even thinking about it, or I I thought about it, but way before I was even about to do it. So so this is uh definitely the toughest bot I've played. <laughs> he's no joke. This guy is for real. I gotta give him credit. Credits due. Um, and he's got a good YouTube channel, so. All right, so he's coming after my bishop. I'm just going to bounce it back. No big deal. Add some defense to my king, and this bishop's all right. Aimed in the center. I should have maybe pushed it back, though, now that I think about it, and, and aimed at his king. Uh, but you know what? No one's perfect. Uh, let's drop the bishop back. I might want to pile up on the king at some point. Start an attack. I'm here to play chess. I'm here to entertain. I'm not here to fool around. I'm going to go after the king. I don't see what he can do. Yeah, you can take my knight all day. I don't care. I don't need my knight. Okay. What is going on here? Is this... Is he is he losing the game here? I mean, I, he's attacking my queen, but I move my queen out of the way. Attack mate and attack his knight. So when something's too good to be true, we have to look at their defenses. So if I go there... Queen e4, what does he do? Oh, he puts his knight there. Ah, his knight just goes there. That's very annoying. That's very annoying. Hmm. His knight just goes there and stops everything. So if I take and he takes and I go here, let's say, how does he defend the mate? Probably just f5. And if I take, he opens up his rook. Things get a little silly here. All right. Hmm. All right. Let's see. What should we do? All right. Let's play this first. We'll, we'll give him this. I'm going to move my bishop out of the way and prepare to play g4, gg. Whoa. What's going on here? This is crazy. Oh, if I push, he just takes the pawn. If I don't push, he just takes this pawn. Not very cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and prepare to play g4. And he takes. I have to take with en passant. I don't, I don't know what he's going to do here. I'm just going to go ahead and attack the knight. He has to counterattack my queen because if he moves his knight, he gets checkmated. I'm sure everybody sees that. Or at least 10% of you see that. Or at least 10% of 10% of you guys see that. So I got to move my queen back. I move my queen back. 
and very slowly to make sure there's no trap. If you move your piece slowly, you can't blunder. That's a rule. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks like uh, Agdamater is down a piece. No, he takes the bishop, but then I take this, and then he takes... No, he doesn't take. Interesting move. I push the pawn, though? Okay. Feel free to pause and find the best way to get out of check. Am I getting trolled right now? Is he trolling me? Am, am I getting trolled? I think I'm getting trolled right now. So I move here, he takes with check. I move here, he takes with check. I have to get out of it like this. He checks me here. No, he takes the pawn over there. Okay. I guess that's all right. I don't see uh, many big threats. I'm going to just defend this uh, this checking square. Okay. Uh, still don't see a whole lot from him. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, defend this file right here. Okay. Okay. Let's just initiate a series of exchanges here. All right, and oh, if I can't come here, I'll take the pawn. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what to do here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So he's up a pawn. Hmm. This pawn's off the off off. He's not. He's not losing that. Hmm. What to do here? What to do? Let's see if he can, uh, if I can soften him up here. Yeah, I figured he'd do that. I come here, and then what does he do? Yep. Very good. Very good. Okay, he's better than Mr. Beast, that's for sure. Much better. Way better than Mr. Beast. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Maybe I just simply take here... Because my bishop's getting kind of useless. And I just offer a queen trade. And at least my king's in a better position than his king. Even though he's up a pawn, I have a better uh, king position. He's going to try to come down here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and be aggressive. You want your king to be active in the end game. All right, so I get my pawn back. And now uh, I'm in the driver's seat again. Okay, he's attacking a pawn, but I can easily defend it, and my king is much better. The fact that my king is much better is uh, is is key here to this position. Okay, and I could simply, if I come here, he takes, I move here for checkmate, but he can check me, so that's annoying. So I'll just defend this for a while and see what he wants to do. He should get his king in, but he doesn't want to for some reason. Now my king's really in the game. Now he's really in trouble. And now I'm really, really winning. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and threaten checkmate. Actually, it's not checkmate. He has a square. But it's uh, it's good enough. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do I push this pawn first? Let's take over. Let's just take over the game. He should come here, yeah. But I take this. And it looks like I get a really strong pass pawn. All right. I can just push this guy. If he ever leaves the defense. All right. Uh, let's go behind this pawn. Okay. He wants to play like that, huh? My king can intercept this guy and also pave the way for this guy to run free. All right, so I can't take because I lose my rook and I look silly. Okay. Let's see. Where do I go? Here? Or do we just draw the game? I think this is just might be a draw at this point. All right, what do I guess? I guess we really are even matched. We're both two thousand on the dot. We both had a draw. Uh, 
yeah, he's he's a good player, no doubt about it. And uh, you know, he put up a good fight. Got to give it to him, even though he's a robot. Um, you know, he's not he's not such a bad guy. Uh, I guess robots could be cool, even though you know eventually they will take over in the future. <sighs> you know, got to appreciate uh, fellow chess players. So uh, yeah, um, I thought this was. Um, a pretty good representation of um, of that his skill level and you know how he would play. I watched a lot of his videos. Um, he's well versed in the openings and uh, has some interesting, creative, you know, um, middle game ideas. And, and uh, you know, he's very a very uh, devout chess player. He loves chess; it's his passion, as it is mine. So, um, yeah, I think he's a it's a very good game and uh, very appropriate finish a draw between. Uh, two players at the the same level so uh if you like this video please comment like and subscribe and there's more videos against bots humans and maybe even aliens in the future all right later